What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, NYC Mike, man. I'm back with another video, man. Today, we're going to talk about five things you need to learn as a teenager, bro. Yes, I'm talking to all my young niggas out there. You feel me? So, boom, right? Number one, investing. Yes, you heard me. Investing, bro. You know what I'm saying? I feel like as a teenager, investing puts you ahead over most teenagers. You get what I'm saying? Because you're already ahead of them. You feel me? Financially wise and mindset wise, you're already ahead of them. You know what I'm saying? Once you start learning investing at a very young age and get really good at it, you're already ahead of everybody else. You know what I'm saying? So number two, right, is managing your stress. You feel me? I know a lot of high school students be stressed out, be going through a lot with school, schoolwork. If you're on a sports team, you probably be stressed out with that or even relationship problems or social problems with like your friends or let's say you have a girlfriend or whatever or for, for the ladies out there, let's say you have a boyfriend or whatever, right? What you could do to solve this one issue is by meditating. Meditate, you know what I'm saying? You know, some of you, when you're out here, meditate, y'all think of spirituality and stuff like what? that. What? And you're right. Bro, what are you talking about, man? He does have to do with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, all of that is connected. I have found that meditating really does help you calm down and release any stress that you're having. You feel me? It could be with anything. Just meditate for like 10 minutes. The most. Just do like 10 minutes. If you can't do 10 minutes, at least try to do five. You feel me? And I promise you, after you're done meditating, you will feel better. But you have to try it. You can't say that, oh, I don't want to try it or I don't want to do it. You can't do that. You got to give it a try. See if it works. You know, meditating is not for everybody, but I feel like a t teenagers should get in the habit of doing it. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? But of course, not every teenager is going to want to do that. But I just feel like, you know, it's a good way to handle your stress because, you know, teenagers go through a lot, especially you know, with puberty and everything, your hormones are going crazy and shit. So you're definitely going to need that. You feel me? So that's number two, man. Number three skill that you're going to learn or that you need to learn is, and I know this might be a little controversial. I ain't going to lie, but this is just coming from me. This is just my personal opinion. Fitness, man, like working out, working out, taking care of yourself, eating healthier, changing your diet up. We live in a country where the diet and the amount of people that are getting diabetes and and becoming obese is at an all-time high. You get what I'm saying? Everybody eats junk food. Everybody wants to eat pizza and cheeseburgers and french fries. Don't get me wrong. Those foods are good, but is it really worth it? You know what I'm saying? Is it really worth it? You know what I'm saying? All these foods are doing it's really just destroying your body from the inside in the long run. You get what I'm saying? They may taste good at the moment and they may satisfy your taste buds. But in reality, what they're doing is destroying your health. You know what I'm saying? Now, I know most teenagers don't want to hear that. They're just looking at me like, oh, this nigga talking some bullshit. But it's the truth, man. I, I got to keep it 100 with you niggas. Like, it's, it's facts. You feel me? For those who want to start taking care of yourselves, whether you're fat or even if you're like super skinny or whatever, like, you know what I'm saying? Get into fitness. You know what I'm saying? Go to the gym. If you can't go to the gym or you can't afford to go to the gym, work out. You know what I'm saying? Do calisthenics. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know what calisthenics is, it's basically push-ups, pull-ups. It's body weight exercises. That's basically what calisthenics is. And you can actually make progress and become stronger by just doing calisthenics alone. You feel me? And then once you get in the habit of working out and getting in that kind of routine, then you can start going to the gym. You feel me? Yeah, man. Like, I feel like every teenager should take care of themselves because if you want to live a long life, you better start now. You better start eating healthier and doing all that shit. I promise you, bro. It will benefit you in the long run, bro. I'm on a diet right now. You feel me? I don't really eat fast food or sweets like that no more. I'm not saying that I don't eat them shits at all, but I'm just saying that, you know, I probably won't eat them shits again until probably like, you know, um, every now and then, you feel me? It's it's, it's really just going to be like an every now and then type of thing for me, you feel me? 
because I just don't like what fast food does for me. It makes me feel sluggish and lazy, and it just makes me feel kind of sick. You feel me? It doesn't really give me that energy that I need to do what I got to do and handle the everyday shit that I got to handle every day. It doesn't really do that for me. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I feel like changing your diet up and eating healthier and working out and staying in shape is beneficial to you. You know what I'm saying? It'll help you in the long run. So number four, right? Reading. Reading. Yes. Reading. I know most teenagers don't want to do that. You feel me? Because it's boring and it's not stimulating enough. And they just see it as a waste of time and they're not really, you know what I'm saying? Which is understandable because I was once a teenager and I also went through that as well. You get what I'm saying? But what I've realized as I got older is that reading actually helps you communicate better with people. You feel me? So let's say you're someone who has, I don't know, you may, you may be really awkward when you're talking to people. Or you don't know how to keep eye contact with people or, you know... You're just one of those people that are just socially awkward. Like you, you don't know how to keep a conversation going or when you are talking to someone, you tend to stutter a lot or, you know, your, your sentences are just very like out of place. Reading is a good way to help. Reading will help you. I promise you that. Reading will definitely help you and it will also improve your vocabulary and it will help you communicate better with other people. At least I think so. You feel me? I recently just started reading the other day. You know what I'm saying? I, I'll mention two books that I started reading. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Famous book. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all know about it. You feel me? It's a great book. You feel me? I would really suggest it to someone who is looking to become their own boss or any upcoming entrepreneurs. You know what I'm saying? That's definitely a book I would definitely suggest. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Another book that I would suggest that y'all watch. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Watch? I meant to say read. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm speaking too fast. That's my fault. I meant to say read. The Art of Seduction. Um, I ain't gonna lie. I forgot the author's name for that. Art of Seduction is basically a book that teaches you ways of seduction when it comes to females you know what i'm saying self-explanatory you know what i'm saying it, it it really just teaches you the ways of seducting a female or just women in general and what seducing really means and the right ways to go about it you know what i'm saying it's an interesting book so if you want to read it you can check it out so number five learn a new skill learn a new skill so basically what i mean by that is Learn a skill that you have the potential to being great at and try to see if you can use that skill to benefit you in a financial way. You get what I'm saying? So learn a skill, become really good at it, or try to become almost really good at it and Try to see if you could profit off of that skill. You know what I'm saying? So like, for example, if you're really good at art and you're really good at drawing and making like, or you're really good at like graphic design, right? If you want to share your artistic ex, um, artistic work and show it to the world and try to get put on to like, you know, certain companies that are looking for people that make great art or whatever, you can start posting your art like on YouTube or whatever. Post it on YouTube or post it on social media. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, just learn something that can, like, benefit you, like, financially. You get what I'm saying? And try to be really good at it, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't just bullshit it. Like, try to be really good at it. You feel me? feel like those are the five tips that y'all should learn as teenagers. If there are any other things that I missed out or forgot, please let me know in the comment section below. I hope I helped you out with this video. I never thought I would make a video like this, to be honest, but, you know, I do want to start, like, helping people, you know what I'm saying? I've had people put me onto stuff, so the, I feel like the least I can do is put y'all onto stuff.
I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you also turn on those post notifications. I would really appreciate it. Be coming out with other videos too. As a matter of fact, I got a story time video coming up as well. Um, it's a crazy story time, but I think y'all find it really funny. But until then, man, I'll see y'all niggas later, man.